Hey everybody, it's Friday the 9th of August and it's another day off and I just need to tell you I've had the best lie in this morning. So last night I didn't set an alarm, I was like I definitely need to sleep today um, and I woke up at half 11. So yeah, I'm so so happy with that. Um, it is now quarter to do to two. What I've done is I've done my eyebrows and stuff this morning. Um, I've literally just chilled around the house. I'm going shopping today at my friends in Cheshire Oaks. Um, I've vlogged Cheshire Oaks before, I think in two other vlogs. So I'm not going to vlog much today. Also because I'm with my friends, so I just want to chill out for a bit. But um, I'll vlog when I get back. I'll show you if I've brought anything and also I'm going to deep clean the house as well. So I'll just vlog me doing a bit of that today. Um, I just need to tell you guys about cycling shorts. Now, I live in cycling shorts because they're so comfy. They go with oversized top jumpers, they go with tops, literally they, they go with everything. Um, and my friends told me this, so thanks to Annie and Lydia, but Tesco's at the minute have got a back to school range, probably Asda as well and all the other supermarkets. And for six pounds, you can get the back to school cycling shorts and they're exactly the same as like the cycling shorts online. Now I've got age 15 to 16 and I'm a size 10 and they fit perfectly, I've got them on today. Sorry, my house is a mess and that is why I'm deep cleaning it today. And they are six pounds. I think the age of 14 to 15 is five pounds and then they're four pounds and then they're three pounds. So however how small you are, you can get them in Tesco's and like I said, they're so cheap and it comes in a pack of two as well. So that's three pound each for a pair of cycling shorts, which is like just insane. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that because I absolutely loved it. When the girls told me, I went straight to Tesco's and got them and they fit perfectly. They're so comfy and stuff. So yeah, so I'm just going to finish getting off ready now. Um, I'll let you know what my outfit of the day is. So I just want to let you guys know what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing a blazer from Tesco's. I'm wearing my Spice Girls top, which is from Boohoo, which I believe was £8. I'm wearing my tassel new look bag. And then my cycle shorts from Tesco's. And then my new red Converse. And so yeah, and I've also got my hair grips. They are from New Look as well. And now I'm off to Cheshire Oaks. Let's go! So we're in Cheshire Oaks and I think it's becoming the end of the world. <laughs> All the electric has just gone off every single shop. Everyone's like waiting outside the store and we literally think this is the end of the world. <laughs> like this is the, this is the start. Look, it's actually crazy, I'll turn it around and show you. So everyone's waiting outside the stores, like all the stores have just closed. Everywhere's dark. And we're hungry. And we're hungry, we want food. Oh, we, want, we want to go in this shop. <laughs> the storm's coming outside. This is my last ever video, probably. Because <laughs> it's the end of the world. So we ran to the car, because everyone was running to their cars because the electric wasn't coming back on. It's been a good 20 minutes, so we were like, right, let's just go to the car. We, as soon as we get in the car, the electric's come back on. So now we're running, everyone's running. <laughs> so we're running to <laughs> get food at Leonberg, I think it's good. We literally thought it was the end of the world and we were gonna die. So we thought we'd go back to the car, but we're actually still alive. So let's carry on the rest of the day. the wind swept hair the weather today has been so on and off it keeps raining and then it's really windy and then it's sunny but anyway it is now five past nine at night and i've literally just got back from cheshire oaks it's been such a weird day like the whole thing of all the electric going off really spooked me out because it, then it got really dark um yeah, it was just such a weird day. Like, it was a lovely day off. Like, we went in every shop in the end because the electric came back on. We went for lovely food in a restaurant called Giraffe as well, and I've never been there before. I got, like, this mixed spicy rice dish with chicken, um, and we had churros for dessert as well. And it was just a really nice, chill day. And I got to say, on the way back just then, I was, like, falling asleep in the car because I was so tired. Fleur East is on at work tonight and I was gonna pop over and watch her 
but I'm just so tired. She comes in two weeks again on my friend's 21st birthday. So I think I'm just gonna hold off and watch her then. And also work looks heaving. So I just probably will end up falling asleep because it's so hot in there. But um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run a bath and I'm gonna watch a bit of telly and then I'm gonna deep clean while I watch telly. I'm gonna chuck my pajamas on. To be fair, the house isn't too bad. Uh, it looks like Jake's come home and tidied a bit. So it's just like the bedroom and the bathroom and stuff that needs a good wipe over. So I'm gonna do that in just a second. But I'm just gonna show you what I got first. Now there was lo lots of good sales on in the shops today. Like my friend Lydia, she got, there was three times that she went to the till and it was half price of what the price it said. So she was like buzzing. So the best thing about outlets is they have an outlet, outlet price as well. But there was loads of stuff that I picked up, and but I just don't need it. Like I keep saying to everyone that like, I'm downsizing, like I've got far too much stuff here and I need to get rid of it. That's why we're doing car boot sales and stuff. So I was just thinking, do I need it? Yes or no? I did pick up a few bits, so I'm gonna show you what I've got. I literally have the smallest little bag and it's got a drink in as well, so that's taking up half of it. So the first two things I got is from the Shop Beauty Outlet, which is the bag that I got it from. Now this Beauty Outlet is so good. So it's got all the designer mix designer makeup stuff for half the price and oh my god you guys are gonna kill me i know you are you're gonna write a comment and say something but they had the brand new anastasia palette i can't remember which one it's called but it's the navy blue one in the front and inside it's got golds and browns like honestly it's gorgeous it's originally 46 pounds and in beauty outlet they had it for 29 pounds and they had like three left and me and lydia were both saying shall we get it shall we get it um, we were like, maybe we'll come back and get it. And then the whole power cut thing happened and we went for food and I completely forgot about it until I just got back now. And all of you are gonna kill me because that's like so much cheaper, but I didn't get it. Call me crazy. But what I did get from there was some eyelash eyelashes. So the number 146, the really fluffy and really nice now i get all my eyelashes from there now because i realized they're half the price so these are normally seven pound and i got them for 2.99 um they get so many good lashes in there and it's so cheap 2.99 you can't go wrong i should have really brought more but um, i'm going to try these ones out and if i like them i'll go back for some more so 2.99 for them was pretty good now the next thing is a new thing that i've never tried before now as you guys know i'm obsessed with lush because i love my bubble baths i love bath bombs i love bubble bars and everything to do with baths and lush I love but quite recently I've seen a lot of things on YouTube to do with bath salts now I've never used bath salts in my life I've never even really heard of them I don't even know if Lush do them correct me if I'm wrong write me a comment if they do do them but I've never seen them in there but this beauty shop did have them so I just picked them up and I thought I'll give them a go see if I like them um, they're called, this brand that I got is called Sprinkle Pop. They has them in three different smells, coconut, candy floss and watermelon I believe. And I got it in the coconut scent, I'll just show you now. So yeah, um, I just seen them when I went to the till. And they, you can smell them, they smell so nice and refreshing. And I thought they don't work, it doesn't matter because I got them so cheap. So these were originally, I believe they are 10 .99, um, And I got them for 2 99 <laughs> So yeah, you can't go wrong with outlet prices at all. Um, it just says, sprinkle a handful into warm water, allow to dissolve, then lie back and relax. Rinse the skin after use. After we went for food, my friend wanted to go get her nose pierced. Um, as you can see, I've already got mine. She asked me if it hurt and stuff. So we went into Claire's, because um, Claire's do piercings. And if you get anything pierced, you get them 30% off the shop as well. 
um, which was quite unusual that she got pierced it with a gun. Now, I've never seen that with a nose before. I got mine done with um, a needle, but it was done over in seconds, like literally one, two, three, ch done. Um, and because it was an outlet, they already had 20% off everything in there. So with my friends at 30%, we had 50% off in total. So I thought I would just have a little look in there. I haven't been in there since I was a kid. And oh my God, I can't believe how much good stuff they've got in Claire's. Like they had Disney ears, Disney backpacks. They got loads of pug stuff, which I love. Um, glasses, earrings, everything in there I literally really liked. So I picked up two things from there. First thing I picked up was two new belly bars. So I've had my belly button pierced since the age of 14 and I'm not gonna lie, I forget it's there half the time. And I haven't brought a belly um, bar in literally like four years, I wanna say, that's crazy. So I seen these, um, let's see if it'll focus. Let's have a look, there we go. So I seen these two, this one's a rose gold one and this is a pearl one. Uh, so I seen these and they were originally £14, which is obviously quite pricey, but I got them for half the price. So I got them for £7 and yeah, I really, really like them. I love the rose gold one as well. So I'm going to pop that one in after I get out of the bath. And they have these gorgeous red Mickey and mini ears, which I was going to purchase to go with my red outfit for Florida. But then I seen this when I got to the till and I thought I don't want to wear ears every day um, because I just want to look a bit different in photos and stuff. So I've seen this lovely bow. Now this is originally £5 but I got it for £2.50 if it's going to focus. There we go. So I got this lovely bow, it's £2.50, originally £5. I just thought it'd be cool just to stick in my hair or something, it looks quite cute. That way, let's try it out now. Yeah, like, look how cute that is. It makes me look about five years old, but yeah, I quite like it. So, it says just to take um, a handful of these. I don't know how big of a handful, and chuck it in warm water. I'm intrigued to find out that it bubbles. It smells incredible though. Um, nothing seems to be happening yet. So I've not long got out of the bath. I've got my Molly May Love Island bun in. And um, those salts, which I was gonna tell you about, you know, I didn't see any difference to my bath normally. Like it doesn't make them have bubbles in my bath because I had to add extra bubble bath in didn't smell maybe i didn't put nothing because i couldn't smell it like i couldn't smell the coconut um if i'm doing them wrong please comment below because i didn't really think much of them at all couldn't smell anything didn't get any bubbles didn't feel any different to a normal bath maybe i'm just doing it completely wrong um but yeah so that's my little thing on it um, i've just started really unpacking some of my birthday presents i like leaving my cards and presents out for a little while but it's been exactly a week now since my birthday so i'm going to start packing them away if you haven't watched my birthday present haul yet then i'll link it down below because i got some amazing presents this year and one of them was my baby lotso and i've just placed him on my bed and i can't wait to show you so there he is oh. There's baby lots, so I've popped them on my bed. Um, I need to cut off the tags and stuff, which I'm going to do next. And I've put them right next to big lots. Uh, so I've just finished tidying the bedroom and also the front room. I've made all the couch and stuff, and it's just finished tidying all the the couch and hoovered, ready for when Jake comes home from work. And it just looks so comfy in here. Like I love having a clean and tidy house. Like just means you can just sit back and relax. I'm gonna catch up now on EastEnders and then I'm gonna quickly finish the bathroom. I've probably got another half an hour yet until he's home. Um, he's probably gonna be finishing about half 11 because it goes crazy after X Factor acts, like all the guests like try and have photos with the acts and stuff. So it is pretty manic night for X Factor night and it's always my night off so I always feel so bad. But sorry that today's filming was a bit random to be honest, like I didn't really film much, 
like I said I didn't want to with my friends but I didn't want to not put up a day off vlog because I don't want to like let the subscribers down like I've been getting so many subscribers the last few days like every morning I wake up and even if it's just one more it literally makes my day um Jake texts me like all the time if I've got a new one it's like he's always looking he's like you got another subscriber and it sounds so sad but it's something that I've always wanted to do is just video and make vlogs and stuff like that and the fact that people watch them it means so much to me but um I'm just gonna let you know what's going on next week so next week my extra video is on up Wednesday at half past five and I'm doing a night with Hariana. So for the next few nights I'm going to be doing little clips of each show that I'm in throughout this summer. And next week is my night with Hariana. Um, so I've put together a little collage together of all little clips from the shows. And yeah, I'm really excited to show all of what I do at work with you guys because you always see like behind the scenes and my days off and what I get up to with the team but you never actually see what I do when I'm at work so yeah it should be pretty good next week's with Hariana like I said the week after I've got a night with the Walcott band now I've been very lucky enough to be asked to be danced behind a live band that we have at work called the Walcott band um, they are incredible they're literally my favourite band going um, so yeah, me and my dance, play dia, dance partner Lydia have choreographed a little set for them. We did it for the first time on Sunday Just Gone and it went down so well. And it was so weird dancing with a live band because sometimes they go quicker than normal. So then the, uh, your choreography goes quicker. But it was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again this Sunday. So that'll be the following Wednesday and then I'll have another one for the Wednesday after that as well. So I've got loads of fun, interesting um, videos coming up. I also ordered a few stuff online this week. Obviously my ASOS delivery that I got for my birthday. I got an ASOS voucher that I spent. I'm still waiting on that. And I've also bought a birthday outfit for my friend Lydia's birthday. She turns 21 in two weeks. So I've bought an outfit for that as well. And when that comes, I'll obviously show you guys it. But apart from that, my day off this week's been very boring for you guys, but for me, it's been so nice. Like, I was saying to my friend yesterday, I've been vlogging now for 13 weeks. This will be my 14th video, which is crazy. It's gone so quick, um, and I'm so glad I did start it. But at the same time, I've been trying to do new stuff every week, and it's just getting me so tired. So I needed this day just to have a lie-in, to relax to chill um, and then ready for next week. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Jake's talking about doing another car boot sale, but that means I have to get up at like 5 a.m. again. And midsummer, I don't think that's the best thing to do right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna tint my brows and I'm gonna show you guys how I do so it. I've just got you balance on the side, so it's just, I'm not bold, I've got a head. So I'm just going to show you what I use. So I use Maybelline New York Tattoo Brows Easy Peel Off Tint and I get it in a medium. I think I'm going to go for dark next time because as you can see my eyebrows are quite dark. Um, I was a bit scared because I've only been using this for a few weeks and I was scared to get the dark to start with. Um, so this is it. I'll show you guys. It's not going to fit. Oh there it is. Okay so so it's called Maybelline Tattoo Brow um, and like I said I get it in a brow. So basically you can, it says to keep it on for 20 minutes um, but I keep it on for about half an hour and it comes with a little stick like that. Um, I'm just going to use that mini mouse mirror. And I just literally paint on my eyebrows. You can use a little cotton brush to go around with afterwards but I just do it more careful, to be honest.
just peeled my eyebrows off and as you can see they look so dark so they've like been tinted um, I'm so happy with them I left them on for 25 minutes so they were a bit bitty to like peel off I normally leave it for half an hour but I'm so happy with them like that has no makeup on so I can literally wake up tomorrow and go into work and look like I've got makeup on, but I haven't. I'm just gonna wait for Jake to come home and then I'm gonna be watching some Netflix with him. We're addicted, like I said last week, to a Netflix series. If you enjoyed this week, guys, like I said, keep your eyes peeled for next week and I'll see you then. Oh.